In all of the previous examples, we had every single uh, power represented from our largest power on our variable till we got to a constant. But here, what factor am I missing in this polynomial? What x um, powers haven't I hit? x squared and x itself. So we need to have placeholders when we go to write it below. So x cubed is coming first. And I need to have a hole here for x squared and a hole for x. So what coefficient do I need to write on the front of that? So I'm not adding a random term because x squared isn't present up here. So I need to add 0 times that thing, it'll be gone, and 0 times the second one. Or if you don't like seeing these, you can just write plus zero, plus zero, so you have space. But I think it's helpful to have what variable it actually is on the back, what power, because then everything is going to line up. All my x squareds will be here. All my x's will be here. So, that's on the inside. We're dividing by x plus one. Once we've plugged the holes, it just behaves like normal. What do I need to multiply x by to get me to x cubed? You need to multiply it by x squared. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 1 plus x squared. Do you see why we needed to plug that hole? Otherwise, we'd be adding to 1 if it was smushed. So subtracting that entire quantity. x cubes are gone, and I've got 0 minus x squared. So I've got a negative, and we bring down what's next. So bring down the placeholder. And the question to ask, what do I need to multiply x by to get me to negative x squared? So negative x, again, everything lines up in a column. Take that times x, negative x squared. Negative x times 1, negative x. We are looking at subtracting an entire quantity. So negative x squared plus x squared, going to be gone. 0x minus a negative x, going to be left with 1. And we bring down what's left. So what do I need to multiply x by to get me x? 1. So we take that times each. We get x plus 1 down below. As we look at the difference, we have a remainder of 0. And again, we could check if I multiply thing up top by my divisor, do I get the thing on the inside? And we do. So in the next example, what hole do we need to plug in our insides here? I have the fourth. I don't have a third power. So we need to plug that hole. Negative 7x squared, negative 4x plus 13. Hmm, that's the only one. And I want to divide that by 3x minus 1. Once we plug the hole, it behaves as normal. What do I need to multiply 3x by to give me 9x to the fourth? So we'll look at the coefficients first. What do I need to multiply 3 by to get me to 9? 3. And what do I need to multiply x by to get me to x to the fourth? I need three more factors. So 3x cubed times 3x, 9x4. 3x cubed times negative, negative 3x cubed. We look at the difference of that entire quantity. First terms are gone. And I've got 0 plus 3x cubed. Bring down what's next. And we need to ask, what do I need to multiply 3x by to get me to 3x cubed? missing two more factors of x. So x squared times 3x, 3x cubed. x squared times the negative is minus x squared. We'll look at the difference of that entire quantity. So first terms are gone, and I've got negative 7x squared plus x squared. So I've got negative 6x squareds left, bringing down what's next. What do I need to multiply 3 by to get me to negative 6? Negative 2. And what do I need to multiply x by to get me to x squared? 
and x. And again, all of the same kind of variable is lining up. Taking that times each of these, minus 6x squared plus 2x. We look at the difference of the entire thing. First terms are gone. Negative 4 minus 2x. Negative 6x, bring in 13 down. Almost there. What do I need to multiply 3x by to get me to negative 6x? Negative 2. All the constants lined up together. So, negative 2 times each. Negative 6x, positive 2. If I look at the difference, first terms are gone and I have a remainder of 11. And we know to stop because the degree down here is 0, degree up top is 1. So we need to add on 11, and he has yet to be divided by 3x minus 1. So go ahead and take those last two, plug the holes, do the division, see what you get out. So the first hole on the inside, start with x cubed, and I'm missing an x squared term and an x term in between there. That entire thing we're dividing by x minus 1. So what do we need to multiply x by to get us to x cubed? x squared, that times each, we got here. Looking at the difference. I don't have any x cubes, but I've got 1 x squared, 0 minus a minus. Pull down what's next, the placeholder. And what do we need to multiply x by to get us to x squared? Times x. That times each of these, writing it below, looking at the difference. x squareds are gone. 0 minus minus will give me 1. Pull down what's next. What do I need to multiply x by to get me to x? 1. I don't need anything to change. So, we got a remainder of 0 in the end. So, we could double check, multiply these two, and we get the thing in the middle. We do. In the second piece, what holes do we need to plug? So I'm starting with fourth power. I need a hole for the third. 10x squared, 2x, 9. The rest are all filled in. We're dividing that by 4x plus 2. So first question, what do I need to multiply 4 by to get me to 8, 2, and to multiply x by what to give me the x to the fourth? Cubed. So that times each of these. What are we looking at? Looking at the difference. x to the fourth. Those are going to be gone, and I've got 0 minus 4. So I've got negative 4x cubed. Bring down what's next. And we got a c. What do I need to multiply 4x by to get me to negative 4x cubed? Negative x squared. Everything should line up, same variable over same variable. Multiplying that to each, negative 4x cubed minus 2x squared. If I look at that difference, first terms are gone, and I've got 10 minus a minus. So I've got 12 factors all together. Bringing down what's next, what do I need to multiply 4x by to get me to 12x squared? 3x, multiply that times each, 12x squared plus 6x, looking at the difference. First terms are gone, and I've got 2 minus 6. I've got a negative 4x. Bring down, last term, almost there. What do I need to multiply 4x by to give me negative 4x? Negative 1, constants all lining up. That times each of these. And looking at the difference. x terms are gone, and what is my remainder? 9 minus a minus 2. So I've got 11 all together. So adding on to the back of that, 11 still needs to be divided by 4x plus 2. And you can always do the multiplication, check, make sure you come back to this polynomial. 
So when we're dealing with longhand division, you need to plug the holes of the powers that you're missing because we need all of them to line up. We need the placeholders.